Hello students, in this lesson, let us study about the turnouts and its component. Turnouts and how exactly we lay our turnouts, all these things we will be studying in this particular lesson. Okay, so to get started with, turnout are nothing but the complete setup of points and crossings. A complete set of points and crossings we know that points and crossings are provided for what for diverting the train from the main track to a branch track or a siding right so this complete setup is known as your turnout so if you observe in the figure so there is a right hand turnout which is turning in the right direction and there is a left hand turnout which is turning in the left direction so this entire setup of points and crossings is known as your turnout so if the set of points and crossings are towards right it is called as what right hand turnout and if it is turning out towards left then it is called as the left hand turnout so let me explain this figure see if this is your facing direction right so these are the switches left hand switch right hand switch then these are the distance blocks we have already read about all this right this is your main track so if you are coming in opposite direction it's called as trailing direction right this is your check rail what we provide angle of crossing right here also we have check rail and this portion is your turnout portion where it is turning around right we have already in the previous lesson seen all the terms related to this correct now let us see what are the components of the turnouts and what are their functions so this entire setup is nothing but turnout as we have discussed right so what are the components a pair of roll stock rails what are that stock rails are nothing but your main line right so this and this pair of stock rails will be there and then pair of tongue rails will be there so this branching out rail is called as your tongue rail so two pairs of tongue rail also will be there right so the function of stock rail is what to facilitate the smooth working of your tongue rail and the function of tongue rail is what it is used to facilitate the diversion of the train from the main to the branch track right then there will be what four lead rails right we have already studied about the lead rails right so here you can observe you will have your lead rails two for this and two for this so what is the main function of the lead rail though they will lead the track from heel of switch to toe of crossing right so then then there will be a v crossing so this is nothing but your v crossing so the gap between the rails to be crossed so that your flange wheels can pass through them without any obstruction right then two check rails will be there why are these provided to check whether the wheels are priming properly or no so to check if the wheels are climbing correctly or no that's the reason we will go for two check rails right then there will be a stretcher bar so we have already seen what is a stretcher bar so it is the bar which is connecting the two tapering ends of the tail tongue rail right so that both the tongue rails move in same distance to check that you will normally go for your stretcher bar which is here right then the last one is your slide chairs now what is this this is usually used to support your tongue rails or fix your tongue rails to the throughout the length of the rail so these are about the components of your turnouts right so there are two more a pair of heel block or distance block also is given right heel blocks or distance blocks are also given now what is the function of this the function of this is to keep the heel end of both tongue rails at fixed distance from the stock rail okay next is your switch type plate or your gauge type plate now why is this provided to hold the track rigidly to a definite gauge so the gauge should not change no so to hold your gauge properly broad gauge narrow gauge or meter gauge properly this will be given a switch type plate or a gauge type plate okay then other components also will be given like your rods these are all basic components which are used for connections okay rod cranks levers for operation purpose we will use all this right these are used for what operation purpose and 
the other ones like your locking box your lock bar plumb bar plunger bar are used for your locking system right so these are about the components of your turnouts moving ahead sleep ring of turnouts sleep ring of turnouts is nothing but the process of laying of turnouts okay process of laying turnouts the process of laying sleepers are also called as sleep ring only right so here because we are reading about turnouts we'll discuss majorly on that particular point so your turnouts can be laid in two ways right the first one is sleep ring of turnout by through sleepers and the second one is the sleep ring of turnouts by interlaced sleepers okay so if you observe in the figure only it will explain everything so through sleepers are what you, you observe here in the portion or the junction here right if you observe for both the main branch and the main line and the branch line if you observe there are sleepers which are through and through right from here to here so all these are nothing but your through sleepers which will come under both your main line as well as your branch line whereas after that if you observe they have been separated right when it comes to here that is the interlaced sleeper if you observe for this there is different sleepers right near the turning portion and for this it is different near the turning portion right so these are what interlaced sleepers this first type has certain advantages the advantage being you can maintain the tracks both main tracks and your branch tracks on same level and there will be no difficulty in packing also packing the bellas so right these are the two advantages but it also has certain disadvantages that it will have very long sleepers right so the manufacturing and handling of these sleepers will become very difficult so you can prefer this method if the sleepers of whatever desired length are there uh, are easily available then you can go for this particular method okay but here when it comes to this this type interlaced type here there is difficulty of packing and also on curved regions is very difficult to provide so normally this will become a little difficult to give provision but if the long sleepers cannot be made then we have to go for this particular method itself okay so this is about your turnouts components of turnouts and sleep ring of turnouts hope you have understood it thank you